Hey guys, Dream Matt here. We're going to talk about in the backyard here in the shade about some uh, Dream Matt stuff that's coming up. Some new exciting stuff. And some, what I want to do is I want to talk about mini mat pattern. This pattern is really took off and has really been a joy for a lot of people. We, uh, you know, there's, we're selling, you know, piles of them overseas. Um, we're selling a lot of them up in Canada. We're selling them on eBay. You know, they're, they're just being sold everywhere. I'm sending boxes of them out. And a lot of reasons is because it works. We started this with a joint development with a different pattern, lower, flatter, smaller. It didn't work out. They tested it. They got out of the joint development. I took it a little bit further, was working with uh, Gold Fox USA. They made some mats for them. They sent us some mines. They really love them. They were a pattern that was actually terraced, stair-stepped. Uh, splitting the seven degree uh, the pitch to seven degrees, um, helping overcome that steep pitch in the cube, but they still we still didn't get the results quite we wanted that super uber fine gold recovery. Um, so I went back to the drawing boards with everything else that I learned from the development and working with miners and listening to the customers talk talk about what's going on, and we decided that you know through testing we needed a really deep profile with a high aspect ratio, meaning uh, uh, for how s wide the patterns are, how small they are, really high. Because if this was a regular dream mat, it'd be really super high. And in the, in this, in this actually height is actually this higher than the regular dream mat pattern, um, the height of the wall. So, and in, in that is um, uh, uh, four times as big. Um, so anyways, the goal is to catch all this black sand that was coming onto the mat and not just have a low profile like the vortex or conveyor belt and have a small scoop come onto it and it tumble off one mat to the next to the next and then and then process so that you couldn't load a lot of material onto into the hopper or the feed tray and the goal was to be able to put a whole big scoop and have the whole mat catch it and hold it then process it and pass it to the next tray and that tray is passed into the next tray so that, that basically you can increase your feed rate because you have a higher uh, volume uh, capacity um, for material to exchange and we added also this um, uh, slanted in uh, uh, tapered uh, inset here to catch the material and holding in the vortex finder this is the vortex finder right here you know, the material comes, finds the vortex, and then goes into the spin into the cell. So we did that, and then we also brought this profile in, which we did a lot of study after uh, being a lot of miners just made some really good observations. You know, we putting our fingers on the mats, watching the acceleration of the cells. And I, then I went and did a lot of studies, and this profile is really a profile that's out there in aerospace a lot. And a lot of patented vortex shedding profiles, actually. And there's a purpose that what happens there, um, besides sheltering the cell and allowing for uh, a higher exchange rate with a, a higher sheltered cell. But so basically, this mat took off because it just started getting some fine gold that a lot of the other system was um, at, a, at a higher volume. So volume kind of one, you know, we're supposed to getting uh, uh, a lot of gold really slow. This was getting a lot of gold really fast. Anyways, so this mat really took off. And then Dustin wanted to develop this mat in Australia, but he wanted a six inch mat for a uh, uh, little mini sluice. And he wanted to get the profile out to um, some people for cleanups and concentrating. And that's what this mat is right here. So Dustin developed that. And this is his mat out of Australia. And he adds color to his. Actually, I don't know if he does that anymore still. But when we developed this mat, we talked about this mat as opposed to the 15 degree steep pitch one that uh, uh, aftermarket mat for inside the cube box to a flat pitch mat. And that's when we made the decision, as you can see, for the patterns to go high, low, high, low. So what our thought was on that, and we were working together on this, was that if it was all too high and it was a flat pitch, we would get an overburdening. And so we lowered the pitches to keep the cells active. And by lowering the pitches to keep the cells active, we seen basically a higher exchange rate on this mat. So then this mat goes out to market and then a lot, a lot of miners uh, buy it to do cleanups. 
um, and just test it to see something new. It was, you know, basically, you know, uh, what we put it out there for trinket price, you know. Um, I sell them for 29 bucks. Um, Dustin sells them for a little bit more than that. And then they were seeing some great gold recovery. They were seeing gold recovery and capacity to hold a lot of gold without losing gold. And there was actually even mines that were putting a capacitive, up, I mean, a, a probe back here, a capacitive sensor that was basically measuring the gold as it was coming off, you know, so it could see the different types of metals and in, then in the water flow. And they were, we were feeding the mat and then seeing how long it took for gold to start coming off in a measurable amount. So, you know, so there's some people that were really looking at this. And out of this pattern here came the request from, actually, the industrial people who put their hands on this, or commercial people said, we want to see this pattern, but bigger, so that we can put it in wash plants and in dredges in light industrial equipment. And so from that, we basically got this tile. This is the industrial tile. This is not the size of the industrial tile. Dustin sent this to me. I asked for a 10 inch piece because I want to make a 10 inch mat and put it out there for people. The mats that Dustin sell are 30 by 60, 30 inches by 60 inches. That's the first size of mats he's selling. He will make any custom size mat we, they, that fits an application. But the first customer, our 30 by 60 is the application that they're, we're looking at filling those orders. So we got this mat that is going to go into some wash plants and as you can see it's the mini mat pattern which has got the high low it's got the profiles it's just scaled up to a little bit below a regular dream mat because you can see that this is 10 inch and got all six of its cells in a 12 inch has six cells so it's about you know 20 percent smaller um so and we did that size down because we felt the bigger profile was too much for the application that the, we were doing some water flow tests um capacity tests we were doing capture rates and we were doing feed rates on this uh, uh, uh mat prototypes that we were making um to see where we were at for the customer and this is the size and the range that fit the customer's needs the best and um so anyways, I just wanted to show that to some people out there to show you where Dream Mat's going. Um, Dustin is, uh, uh, can make to order the large commercial mats to any size. Um, you know, not, nothing's instant. You know, we got to tool up and make, you know, take the order, tool up and get it, you know, in the pipeline. Um, so, you know, get a hold of Dustin at uh, Gold Rat High Banking or Gold Rat Engineering, which now he's going to be using because he's designing some other equipment that goes along with this um, for the light, uh, light commercial uh, uh, or commercial and light industrial stuff. Um, so we're seeing a lot of good stuff come out of this uh, uh, mini map profile. So the time I took into not giving up on that mini map profile and being told by others it doesn't work, forget about it, blah, 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 has really paid off in dividends in these other products. And also, I can't show it to you right now because I'm not going to show it to you until I have a map for sale. And both of these aspects, I put my hands for the first time today on the dredge map pattern, and which is the master tooling plate. And then also the mini map pattern, uh, or the micro map pattern, that will be for beach sands. Like this will be a, a, a mat that will fit in the uh, aftermarket mat that... Uh, will fit in a cube or we'll have a longer stretch version one this micro pattern will basically be a beach sand mat it'll be for re in crushing for micro gold small scale uh, uh screen and we're hoping that's going to work out really good so i was pretty excited about that i got to put my hand on all those masters today and i got this box of goodies from dustin and i just wanted to talk about these and also i want to thank all the customers out there that are, are sending me back all the high praise reports and saying how great the product works, um, that they love it, good results, better what they were doing before. All those things really help me basically focus in, you know, in uh, listen to what we're, listen, see the pictures, listen to what people are saying, talk to miners about how the applications should work and really want to vest into this because of such good results. Um, you know, I just, I'm amazed at the fact that, you know, here and just, we're just not even into the middle of summer of the third year of Dream Mat. Um, uh, 
you know, about two and a half years, not even two and a half years into this thing, and we're seeing this thing being made in three different countries and uh, three different continents <laughs> and, and being sold all around the world and advancing. I, I can't get enough requests for new product, different size product, different size applications. So, you know, it's just, it's pretty exciting. Um, it's, it's a joy to uh, be able to see people when and listen to people on the phone and listen to people in their emails talk about how great the product works and so we're excited we're hoping we'll do that some more we're gearing up going upstream we're looking at you know commercial and industrial and we're looking at going downstream to even smaller stuff solving some beach goal problems and we're gonna do some dredging stuff with some dredgers i'll be really excited about that sorry i'm late on that project uh, I had the stuff made in Australia because it costs less. Um, I know all the Trump fans don't want to hear that, but the fact is, is I saved thousands of dollars by making it in Australia, but I'm months behind. Um, but I'm a hardworking man, got a day job, and this is my um, uh, side gig, and I want to keep it passionate. I want to keep it exciting. I don't want to be a, a dancing chicken, you know, like on Pure Country with George Strait, you know, you know. <laughs> I, I want to, I want the market to drive the product and I don't want to try and push the market with just new products. I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the guy who releases a new camel pattern every year just cause, you know, it, 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 it's just like, well, what's that for? Well, it looks just like the other thing. I want everything to have a purpose. I want the market to drive it. I want individuals to drive it. I want requests to drive it. I want dream Hat to be the problem solving, you know, uh, uh, mat out there. I want my opinion is I want Dream Mat to be the the number one selling mat in five years. I want to see market share with Dream Mat, and not because of the money aspect ratio of it, but because then that would mean we succeeded in developing a great product. We succeeded in doing some engineering. We just succeeded in solving problems, high value problems. We succeeded in listening to the customer. If we can have the number one product. And I'm not saying it's going to happen. I hope it happens. That's our vision. And that's the only way it will happen is if that's our vision for it to happen. Um, and we'll see how close we get. And you know what? It's going to just gonna be a fun ride getting there. All right. I'll talk to everybody else later.